start with the you know, before the season ticket offer that the, the fans have yeah. managed to put up for fans that maybe couldn't afford yeah. to come and watch volleyball. Yeah, no, it's um, you know the the club continuously tries to look after its own um, and, and everyone connected with the club. I think it's really important for us. I think you know we constantly talk about the importance of the supporters and uh, and the community being part of this club and, and we take it seriously and uh, obviously these decisions are made above my head um, but we, we fully support anything that, that helps the people and the supporters of Motherwell. But as a manager of Motherwell, how proud does that, that make you feel? Yeah, well... I, you, you want to feel good about your employer and, you, and your club and it's not just on how they treat you but how they treat everybody. I think everyone that comes to Motherwell um, or is connected with Motherwell can say that they, they feel a, a connection and a warmth that comes from the club and a, and a care. I think it's really important that. Um, you know, we're in the, the sport and the business of winning um, but how you treat people is just as important and I think we do that really well as a club and I think it's... it's uh, it's important that it's maintained and and it flourishes um, from season to season, year to year, um, because the you know the the rewards of that it, it goes around everybody, and um, I think it's uh, vital for a club like ourselves, but other clubs as well, and, and I know other clubs take it seriously as well. In fact, we're talking about this. We know that Celtic Rangers get capacity crowds as from next week. Just yeah. How good is that for you to hear? Yeah, look, it's um, it's a big thing for the. The Premiership and for Scottish football, I think um, we have missed that support. Um, you know, at the start of lockdown, I was managing in England. At the end of it, I was managing in Scotland, and the the impact is is across the world. Uh, with uh, supporters not being at games, and like I say many times, when you when you're a kid uh, wanting to be a professional footballer, you, you dream of playing in front of crowds. You know, it's, that's it because because everyone who kicks a ball. Um, you know, uh, amateur f- for fun doesn't play in front of the supporters, but we do, yeah, and it's part of our game, it's part of how, our upbringing. And when they're not there, we miss it. And uh, but we've seen the the atmosphere that was created here last week against Hibs was, was amazing, and um, you know, we want to see that more often, and I'm sure we will this season. I think there's a real first from the supporters to be in, in the grounds, and I think they've been rewarded with some. Um, Excellent matches over the last, you know, uh, ten days. Another home game on Sunday. Are you hoping there's a few tired legs in that St Johnson team? Yeah, we're away on Sunday. Are you ready? I've looked at the wrong squad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you're away. You are away. Yes. Are you, I'm hoping there's a few tired legs. <laughs> no, um, look, it's uh, look. We we have to focus on what we can do. Um, you know, listen. Uh, every professional football team is fit and prepared. And, uh, and disciplined and, and organised so we won't expect anything different from St Johnston on Sunday what we would be expecting anyway um, so for us we we took the positives from what we did last week against Hibs um, but there were elements of the game that we had to improve on as well which we, we know uh, week in week out we're a new team and, uh, and there's plenty of progress to be made so we're, we're trying to do that on the training pitch but obviously um, when it comes to match days Brent, did you watch the game last night against Galatasaray? So, what did you make of St Johnson? Yeah, yeah, I watched uh, the majority of it, and um, yeah, I think St Johnson put in a, a typical St Johnson performance. I think they were extremely hard to, to break down. I thought they had their they carried their threats at, at important times, and it was a fantastic result for them. So, um, yeah, look, St Johnson have proved over the last twelve months what a, what a good team they are, and um, so we'll be expecting a, a tough game as we do we win the Premiership there, there are no easy games um, but we expect to give them a tough game as well and uh, we're looking forward to it You talk about typical St John's performance I think they've drawn four of their last five quite often tight games but mm. there's a lot of goals going in your game at the moment so what should we expect on Sunday? <laughs> um, I'm not sure uh, I, I think uh, for us we, we obviously want to go and try and win the game uh, but you know, we uh, St John's have had a, a real Consistency and settled side for a long time. Um, you know, if you, you look at their team, it, it doesn't change that much. You know, um, because they, you know the, the manager obviously has great confidence in, in that group of players. Um, we've had a bit more of a turnaround over over the summer. Like I say, we're a new team coming together, but uh, look, we we want to attack teams. We want to try and score goals. Um, we want to take risk. Um, but there is a balance to that and we have to get that balance right I think we we got it um, right in the first half last last week and um, we probably didn't in the second half so that's what we have to 
try and improve upon because look, we don't want to be um, uh, an attacking team that concedes lots of goals. You know, we want to win games. That first and foremost, we want to win games, but we want to do it in a way which excites the fans. Um, but I, I also um, understand the the, uh, the importance of clean sheets and being defensively strong. So we we need to try and improve that over the course of. Um, you know, th this week what we've been trying to work on and, and taking it into Sunday's game. Liam Grimshaw played maybe four or five minutes in a bounce game. Yeah. We just really good to at least get him on the park. That yeah. Been a long time. It has, yeah. He, um, I haven't had him. You know, he, he he was on the bench in my first game um, in January, and then that was it really. Yeah, um, not seen him since. Obviously on the pitch, so he's he's been working um, very hard, but in a slow. Uh, progress. It's, we've took it really careful with him uh, because of his illness, and um, yeah, we don't want him having any uh, setbacks. But he's such an infectious and positive character that we, we love having him around. And uh, he's been training with us on, only um, short uh, period, um, probably I'd say a week, uh, in and out of sessions, not not fully. Um, but we felt. Um, Getting him into a game would be really important for his development, you know, as in come back to full fitness. And um, you know, he, he competed really well and, and played really well, 45 minutes. And you know, I'm sure if we'd have asked Grimmy, he'd have con he wanted to continue in the game. But you know, we wanted to um, manage it properly, and uh, it was great to have him back involved because um, you know he, he's a brilliant character and personality, and, and he's a good player as well. And, and we need um, him back in as, as quickly as possible, but as safe as possible. So he's still probably a wee bit of like competitive matches and things like that. Yeah, uh, listen, it was a competitive game beyond uh, the, the closed doors game, which we had against Queen and South. It was a, it was a good game for a lot of boys. Um, so uh, you know, we we don't approach those games in a, in a friendly type manner. We want them to compete, but um, yeah, he, he, you know, that type of game, to a Premiership game, is a is a different level. So um, it's it's steps with him. Um, but he's he's making good progress. Good for the other guys as well because there are still a few in the squad to eight minutes or have been out for a wee bit. Yeah, the 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 cup competition in pre-season sort of halted their fitness progress because of we didn't play the whole squad in those games. So we need to try and get these friendly games behind closed doors to to enhance their their physical fitness and then. Um, you know, we know we've we, we train in a way which which gets them fit, but nothing um, reproduces matches as matches. So um, the more we can have of that, the better, because we want you know 20, 22 players fully fit, ready to go in and compete, and we have to work hard to, to get them in that shape. Yeah, obviously St George did get a great result last night, and some good results you know, for the other Scottish teams. Is that kind of does that even give the youth players a wee bit of a carrot? Is it if you do really well here, yeah, that's something you might be able to get involved in? Well, that, that sort of um, platform that, that St Johnson were playing on last night was amazing. You know, Galatasaray is a massive club in Europe, being football, great history and everything, and you're going toe to toe and uh, you know away from home, and it's the whole uh, build up to those games. You know the, the different experiences you get from those type of games. You know the, the, them players that played in that will be. Um, will be enriched by that experience but uh, you have to earn that experience by doing a lot of good things over the course of a year to qualify so you know the you know we've seen uh, Scottish clubs compete really well in the early stages in Europe you know certainly in this week and it's encouraging for Scottish football we want to be part of that scene but you have to earn it over the course of a season to get part of that so um, it's early days for that we only played one game but certainly um, you know the clubs have a history. It, was, it started in Europe at, uh, this time last season, so it's it's certainly something that's achievable. Um, but it's certainly not on our radar right now. It's um, it's winning on Sunday, which is our first focus. Is there any, I think it's the same squad as last week. Yeah. Um, yes, obviously. Uh, you know, uh, Liam isn't isn't ready to come into that squad, so it'll be uh, the same squad as as last week, um, and uh, hopefully we'll have maybe a couple more in the following week because they're, they're getting closer to the sort of fitness that we need.